Hey designers, let's create this fire text effect in Adobe After Effects. First, take the text tool and write your text. I'll be using the word fire for this example. Highlight the text and change the color to red to give it that fiery look. Next, align the text onto the composition and make it a bit larger until it looks good. Go to the Layer menu, choose New, and create a new solid. Now, head over to Effects and Presets and search for Fractal Noise. Apply the Fractal Noise effect to the new solid layer. In the settings, change the Fractal Type from Basic to Dynamic and check the Invert option. Hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and click on the stopwatch icon next to the Evolution setting. In the Expression field that appears, type Time Asterisk 500. When you play the composition, you'll notice the evolution animating over time. Now, let's animate the sub offset. In the fractal noise settings, locate the sub settings section and click on the stopwatch icon next to sub offset to add a keyframe. Move the playhead to the 4 second mark and change the sub offset Y value to minus 500. Play the composition to see how the animation looks now. Close the black solid 1 settings and pre compose this layer by going to the layer menu and selecting pre compose. Make sure to click on the option called Move All Attributes into the New Composition, then hit OK. After that, hide this pre-composed layer. Go back to your text layer, then go to Effects and Presets and search for Displacement Map. Apply the Displacement Map effect to the text layer. In the Displacement Map settings, change the Displacement Map layer to the pre-composed solid layer you created earlier. Adjust the max horizontal displace and max vertical displace values to fine-tune the effect until you're happy with the result. Go to Effects and Presets and search for Compound Blur. Apply the Compound Blur effect to the text layer. In the settings, change the blur layer to the solid layer we created earlier and adjust the maximum blur value. These settings will vary depending on your composition size, character types, and the scale of the text, so don't worry if you find that increasing the maximum blur to 13 makes it too blurry or not blurry enough. Just adjust the settings according to what looks best for your project. After tweaking these settings, play the composition to see how it looks. Next, duplicate the text layer by pressing Ctrl plus D on your keyboard. In the duplicated text layer, remove all the effects we previously applied. Now, let's give this duplicated text layer a different color and orange shade would work well here. Change the blending mode of this layer from normal to overlay. Play the composition again to see how the effect is coming along. Now, let's create a new adjustment layer. Go to Layer, then New, and select Adjustment Layer. Go to Effects and Presets and search for the Glow effect. Apply the Glow effect to this adjustment layer and adjust the Glow threshold to around 40%. Preview the composition to see how the Glow enhances the effect. Next, go back to Effects and Presets and search for CC Vertical Blur. Apply this effect to the adjustment layer as well and adjust the amount of vertical blur to your liking. Play the composition to see the effect in action. Finally, duplicate the duplicated text layer once again by pressing Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. Go to the character settings and add a stroke to this text. A white stroke would work well here. Change the blending mode of this layer from overlay back to normal, and you're done. Your fire text effect is complete. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to Ace Designs.